Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this. Now, uh, heads up, when I show, after this, I show the time lapse of this, it, it actually failed a little bit. It was supposed to be a little bit taller, and you can notice that the front infills didn't complete, obviously, because it was supposed to be about yay much taller. The good part is, is it's still high enough for me to do what I want to do, because uh, it's going to be an outlet box. So anyways, um, that's what I'm going to show in this video. Um, this, this Give it a little background. This was designed in OpenSCAD, and the files uh, will be linked down below on, on our sister site for OpenSCAD DIY 3D Tech.com. I'm not going to go into all the OpenSCAD stuff. If you're interested uh, with it, it'll be out there. And I think I might throw this up on Thingiverse, too, so we'll, we'll see about that. Anyways, um, let's go over the time lapse. And then what I want to do is actually put this together. And we'll take a look at building a little uh, utility electrical box. So let's go to the time lapse. Okay, so we're back at the bench, and we've started the construction now. One of the things I wanted to show is I've added a rubber grommet here, and I've taken a cord, an old PC cord that I had laying around, and cut the end off. And then what I've done is I've tinned the tips of the wires. I've, uh, I've uh, uh, skinned them back and, and tinned them. And then what I'm going to do is hook them to the outlet. Now, what I've done with the outlet too is I've taken the ears off so you'll uh, see this. Now, one of the things, I probably should mention this before I got started and I go any further. So, uh, again, I'm just documenting uh, what I'm doing. So, this isn't a, uh, a thorough tutorial with all the safety things. Uh, this will be plugged into 110. 110 can kill, so if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Get somebody that does. So, um, warnings out of the way so uh, we have this so now to break the ears off what you do is you just take a pair of pliers like this and you just kind of twist and then you can see they're kind of like um, stamped on the side so they, they break right off pretty easy and you just throw these away so oops, gotta get, it helps if you get closer to the to the edge And so that's how you do that. So we'll actually put two in here. And then the other thing, I'm going to use a zip strip here to go around here. And I'll, sh uh, I'll show this when I get done to provide strain relief so it'll pull on this. It is already pretty tight. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wire this up. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so now we're back. I've got this wired in. So uh, I haven't connected the ground yet because the ground will go on a shared lug down here. Um, so I did connect the hot to the gold, the neutral to the silver. And one of the things when you do this, uh, connect it so it goes with the thread. So as it tightens down, it pulls it in rather than pushes it out. So uh, this one will sit right here. Then, then I'll wire in this one that goes next to it. Whoops, sorry. Goes that way. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll cut back and show you how it all works. Okay, so uh, just before I button this up, I still have to hook this ground up. But what I wanted to show is I'm using the back uh, plugs here to, or connectors to, to jumper the two sockets. Uh, don't know if you can see, but there's actually a gauge on the back here uh, to measure it. Sorry, it's a little dark here, but. Um, so it's a little gauge, and then what it does is it slides in this opening. Now, uh, I would also suggest uh, locking down the lugs here, too, uh, so they don't short out against something. I've seen a lot of licensed electricians just use the back and then leave these out and then bump the box or bump each other. So uh, it's just better to do that. So I'm going to go back and button this up now and then show you how it all works. 
Okay, so here we are back. Now, I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing because I've left the cover off this so the 110 is exposed here, so you do not want to touch it. This is dangerous. Kids don't do this at home. Uh, but I have put my tester in here, and you see I have the two yellows here, which means I've wired up everything correct. Now, what's good is to also check um, both sockets. So, so we didn't flip them between them, so that's also good. So the sockets are wired correctly, so now I'm uh, pretty much good to go. So the next step is, I could just put a regular cover on top of here, but I'm going to make another special cover in, in OpenSCAD, and I'm also going to add some feet to this to sit on a, on a desk, but you could mount this on a wall. So anyways, this is, this is a handy little case and, and everything else. So I'll put the links for this below where you can get the code off of... Um, uh, our sister site, yes, uh, OpenSCAT, DIY3DTech.com. Uh, I'll probably also put some STLs out there, so uh, for those that uh, don't want to use OpenSCAT, you can just download the uh, STLs for this and make the double box itself. But it's going to be a fixed height and everything, so just be aware you won't be able to customize it like you could if you do the OpenSCAT. So anyways, um, again, remember safety first. If you found this build interesting, or finding it interesting because I'm not done yet, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, more coming. See you when we finish this up in the next episode. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.